Friendly greetings. This is Torley with Linden Lab, as you know, and today I'm going to show you this 3D Connection Space Navigator. Pretty nifty device. It's a funny story. I actually wanted one of these and I tried to order it from a site when it was on sale and then my order didn't go through. <laughs> I had entered details incorrectly. A few days later, I heard from Melissa that we at Linda Lab have officially been collaborating with 3D Connection in order to bring you the Space Navigator support, formal support in Second Life, which should make it easier to use this. First of all, it's an alternative input device, you know, keyboard and mouse. This allows you to more easily navigate in 3D applications. And let's open the box. I took a peek inside, but haven't checked it out fully. So as you can see, the box opens. And inside is our Space Navigator. I'll just pull this out. And right here I have, uh, this is the driver CD. And so from what I've seen so far, there's a new preferences tab that allows you to control the joystick. In this case, this being the sort of joystick device. Previously, we had it hidden under the, the client menu, now called the advanced menu. Oop. And it was the joystick fly cam by Runite Linden. And now, of course, it's going to be even more exciting. As you see, it's, it's pretty heavyweight. It's, it's like a good paperweight. And at the end is a standard USB connection. So I'm going to plug this into my PC and let's take it for a spin. Alrighty, so this is my very first time using the Space Navigator with Second Life. I plugged it into a USB port, which is very standard on a lot of computers, and then I installed the drivers and started up the special version of Second Life. And already you can see that when I'm starting to, oh, let me just click inside the window here. So Second Life is now active. I'm using my mouse, and then I'm using the Space Navigator. Then I can just turn as I twist the cap. I have yet to learn all the terms, but I'm going to so I can teach you future video tutorials. And you can see it makes camera motion a lot easier already. Yeah, that's pretty cool. So as you can see, I can move side to side like that by twisting there. And I can just move it like that. It's pretty cool. I'm pulling back, you see, and then pushing forward. Just gentle touches are going to do it. And <laughs> it becomes a sort of massage for the cap. What happens if I push these buttons? Do they do any? Oh, that one just brings up the control panel again, the right button. Okay, so I need to configure those later. But as you can see now, I guess, oh, oh, I can tilt like that. That's even cooler. That's very cool. And this is great, of course, for doing machinima with dramatic angles if you're an aspiring or already existing movie maker in Second Life. Okay, cool. So I'm on my keyboard. You can't see quite see my keyboard, but I'm going to push escape key to reset the view. And then I think what I could do is then use my arrow keys on my keyboard. You can see, see arrow keys there. Use my arrow keys to walk with my left hand. And then I'm going to use my space navigator to add some more dynamic motion to the scene to get a better look around with things. So I could be walking forward and then I want to kind of crane to the right or left or, or wherever I'm going. Cool. And keep in mind that this is a, an early version, so a lot is going to be subject to change. Nevertheless, I hope it gives you a very good, hands-on, uh, show-and-tell, kinetic demonstration. If I go to Edit Menu and Preferences, you'll see in the Input and Camera tab, the Joystick Setup button. And this is what I was referring to earlier. It's actually not a tab itself. It's a button within the tab. And clicking, whoa. Okay, there's a lot going on here. And I think I haven't pressed this yet, so I'll just press Space Navigator Defaults. Okay, I see that changed some of the numbers. Good, I hope that will make things even easier. And I'll just close this out. So we'll have a, a closer look at this later about adjusting these controls. But first, the basics. And let's see if that did make a difference. I, I don't notice anything quite yet, but... Oh, hey, I can crouch too. That's pretty cool. <laughs> A lot of fun. Well, I'll be back. Stay tuned.